Okay, welcome to the Wednesday night call. I wanna acknowledge Sovereign Joe, who usually we don't get to have on the calls because our calls are in the morning. I just wanna say, yay. Thanks for showing up, girlfriend. And uh, I also- Love you, Rachel. Hi, super stoked to have you. And um, this is our blossoming team here. So thanks to everyone for coming. Hello, Elena. Hi, Shizu and Coco. Hello. Hello. Hi, Coco. Great. And uh, Brianna, thanks for all being here. And Jamie and Robin and Heather and Tyne and Tara Shea and Adina and Brianna. So here we are. Now we're going to just start by doing a quick little screen share um, so that people can understand a couple little nuances in the back office. So if you're willing, Robin, we're just going to look at your back office really quick. So just click share screen at the bottom. There should be, I think you click three dots and then it says share screen for, for screen share. And if you're not comfortable with it, then I can have someone else do it who is a little bit more comfortable with I it. I could do it. I I because you know if you want, but okay. Let's have let's have Shree do it so you can just learn from Shree and I'll have Shree practice. So um oh I have to make you co-host. Hold on, let me make you co-host. Yeah. So this is different than what we did this morning. Yeah, this is good for me too, because I haven't really done this before either. I, so I'm in my back office. Where do I go? No, no. First, you got to share your screen. Come back to Zoom. Okay. okay. Click share screen. Okay. Okay. And then there it is. All right. Let's look at this. Pull it over more, please. And um, make the whole thing large so we can all see it. Click click the green button. There you go. Let's make that big. Okay. So now um, we can see everything. So first of all, you're 79% to director. Congratulations. We're on the first week. You're already a director. Okay. How does that feel? Feels really good. Exciting. Yeah. But there's a red. I was actually above last month, like closer to it, you know, because there's a minus six, 200, 621. So that means that you're down, you're down 621 points at this day, at this time, that less than you were last month at this day and this time. Yeah. That number could go in the green tomorrow. That number fluctuates depending oh, okay. on where you're at. And it fluctuates all day long. That's not the number for today. That's the number for this hour exactly last month. Oh, okay. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is click the view unilevel rank advancement detail. Actually, I'm going to have you click the team reports and then go to unilevel team. Okay, now you're gonna organize it from highest to lowest on level nine level, no. Why do I choose this one, everybody? Why do I choose nine level and not eight? Or why do I not do the GCV? Why do I do the G? Move your cursor so people can even see that. Why do I choose GQV instead of GCV? See, why are those two numbers different? Can anyone tell me? Something about aligning up? No. Okay, oh, from... um less to more of the price or something so the left column the eight column and the nine column the left column this is eight gcv and the right column nine gqv are different numbers see one says 15 and one says 19 who knows why i'm going to just wait and see if anyone can figure this out heather just went over this this morning heather are you are you trying to come on mute off mute do you remember well, does that have something to do with like the levels of your downline? Nope, not at this point because she doesn't have nine levels. She still only has like three levels. Okay, I don't know. I don't remember that from this morning. Okay, so GQV, what does that stand for? Group, group qual qualifying group. volume. Okay. And what does GCV stand for? Community? Nope. Volume or mm -hmm. customer? Customer. Nope. Customer. Nope. nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. See, this is why we do this because there's a lot to know in the back office. Yeah. Right? Does Sovereign Joe know? GCV versus what's the difference between GCV and GQV? Do you know Sovereign Joe? 
There's a reason I'm asking Sovereign Joe. And you guys will find out why. It's a good reason. She's not off mute, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. GCV stands for group commissioning value, volume. It's how much how much you get commissions off of. You only get commissions off of anything you sell, which means if, if, if everything you sell gets points and you've got 1,579 points from stuff that your team has sold, that you that you and your team have sold, that's what you get commission on, right? Mm -hmm. But qualifying volume is qualifying for a rank. What points are not, what points do you get that are not from things you sold? It's like a riddle. Where did those extra 200 points come from, from if it wasn't from products sold by your team? The videos? You got it. You and Adina at the same time win the magic prize. Adina said social media. You said the videos. So what do we call that? Um, shoot. Promos. Promos, gotcha. Okay. Good. So you guys are doing great. The reason I asked Sovereign Joe is because Sovereign Joe, do you know why I asked you? <laughs> it would make you brag about yourself. It would cause you to have to brag. I would have to like force you to brag here. No worries. Because Sovereign Joe typically has the highest promos of anybody in the team. She is the most diligent with turning in her um, widen mm -hmm. your reach and share because you care. And she usually gets all the points each month. She usually gets like all the points possible. She's like queen of making sure that she gets every point, no point left behind. That's that's Sovereign Joe's forte. That's why I call yes. her. Yes, yes. So no point left behind. How can you get points without selling product? Just go ahead and rattle them off, you guys. Just say whatever comes to mind. Share because because you care share because you care what else you could buy the products and then you could share the products on a photo and i think you get 100 points for that yeah um if you're downlined if you're if your customer posts a picture then you can get points for your customer if you turn in if you submit those points if you submit their their if you submit your customers, right, then that's basically custom referrals. That's customer referrals. So I'm gonna have you click on submission forms real quick, um, Sri. And we're gonna go over all the ways you can get points. So what's the first one? Widen your reach lives. How many points can you get a week? For widening your reach, uh, that's one, no, 99. 99 points. That's how many per week? Per week, yeah. How many, how many, how many submissions per week? <laughs> three, three a week. Right. And so that's 33 points per video. It all adds up. Scroll down. What's the next one? Why don't you reach customer referrals? And so how many can you points can you get from a customer referring you? Is it 50? I don't remember. Why don't you click on it and let's see. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and make that big. You just you just put your two fingers on there and spread it open. Nope. Okay. Now, yeah. Now spread your fingers wide so that will um open. Or you wanna? Oh. Do you have a keypad for your fingers? Yeah, yeah. It's so with um, your two fingers, you go like this with your two fingers on the screen on the pad, and that's what open makes it bigger. You have to be on the white. Yeah, there. Now spread. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay I'm learning. Yeah. Learn something yeah. new every day. <laughs> okay, so do that on top of customer referrals so that we can read that. Okay. There you go. So what does it say? Ask the customer, refer a post, submit a screenshot. What's number five say? Approved. I can read it. I mean, I was able to read all that. Do you want me to just read it to you? 
Sure. It says, there you go. It says you will get, it says your customer will get 1,000 1, rewards points. Can you stop moving around? There you go. Okay. Your customer will get 1,000 rewards points. I'm looking at number five. If they're approved, they get 1,000 rewards points, which they can use for shopping. And you will get 15 group qualifying volume. So you get 15 points towards promotion, towards uh, towards ranking up by the end of the next business day. Okay, so 15 points per one of their referrals. Okay, so go back to the other tab. Go back to the submissions tab up above. No, at the top. Top, 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 up, 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 up. No, 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 no. You're, <laughs> sorry. Make it... Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now you've gotten your custom referrals. So the next one is the May Marathon, which is now over because we're in June. That's over, yeah. And then the other one is Declaration Day. And so how many points can you get for declaring? You're declaring your- 100? If you declare your rank this month as director and you hit director, then you get um, a pool. So you could, you could get 250 points, you could get 500 points. It just depends. They split up the pool amongst all the people who actually succeed in achieving their goals. So a lot of points come in from Declaration Day. That's like a lot of points right there. Okay, scroll down. Sharing. And then let's skip transformation. Now we're going to go to care, share because you care. That's 45 points a week, I believe. Let's go ahead and click on it. Smart order. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know. But you have to enroll, you have to submit three screenshots at once. And I believe that's 45 points, 15 per screenshot. Okay. So, or maybe it's 50. I don't know. Anyway, it's like 45 or so. Okay, go ahead. Go back. Now, transformation now is if you order three packs at once, and then you actually trade them out for people who buy them that week, you have, there's like a ton of points available that way. You can get a bunch of points just from giving people their transformation pack in person. You take a picture of you handing it to them in person. They get it instantly, and then they can have their pack ordered and sent to you, so that it gets re so that your pack gets replaced that you bought for them. So that's like you can get like I don't know 500, 600 points for sharing three packs in a week. Okay, we're not going to spend time that on that one. Okay, let's go back up, scroll up. Let's go back to your Unilevel team. So that's where you submit, each one of those is a place to submit points. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and you're gonna click on the level GQV. Nope, yep. All we care, that's the only column I care about is how many is the most points you can possibly have. Click on it again, now it's arranged from highest to lowest, all right? Now, you can find Deborah Wilson's name right there. That's Deborah, your, your new brand partner, right? So you can click on that. Now, you can see if you click um, on backup orders. And then you can click on orders. You can see what orders are coming. Those are the next orders that are coming. And you can look on orders. So her first order, it says her order date was 6-1. So you're going to click on the order number. This is how you find stuff. You're going to click on the order number. Now it says, uh, it says that's the order. Now, if you go just a little bit above, I, ho I hope you're okay. We're sharing your information here. We can delete this part of the video, but um, keep scrolling up. So it says ordered 6-1. It doesn't say a tracking number. So no, it has not been shipped. If there's no tracking number, it has not been shipped. Okay, so there's no tracking number. It says ordered, but it doesn't say tracking number. Where it says ordered, there should be a tracking number. So that's how you can tell Shri, she did not, it has not been shipped. So if she says, my order's not been shipped, you double check and then you tell me if there needs to be something done about it. That's the order of operations, okay? You check first, you double check, you look here, you double check, and then you come to me and say, what's up? It's been seven days. But they tell you, just so you guys know, the actual commitment date for Purium is to fulfill the order within seven to 14 business days. Does that make sense? So 
it hasn't been seven to 14 business days. So they're still on time according to their policy. So when people say, how long does it take? I tell them, I go seven to 14 business days so that they're not upset if it doesn't come before then. If it comes in three days, that's a plus bonus. They got it early. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is how you guys have to operate as brand partners. You have to know that it can take seven to 14 business days for it to ship. Thank you. Right. And they're not committed to doing it less than that, although they will often do less than that. So if you ordered on the first, it's really only been, today's only the fifth business day. Okay. So in two more days, I might start going, what the heck? It's been gotcha. seven days now. It still hasn't gone out. So what's happening right now is I've heard, I don't know if it's true. I heard a rumor through one of the team threads that um, they're back, they're on, they're on back order with the um, super meal vanilla chai, but I don't know if that's really, truly the reason. Um, I can check the diamond thread and find out. So. Now, did everybody get that? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Know you. To find? Good. Is can we do it one more time? Yeah. Just to be clear. Okay, where do I go? So you got to scroll up to like back out of there. Oh, go to the other, to go back to the other page, the other tab. Yeah. The top, very top. There, you can click off that. Exit out, nope. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so if I'm looking for somebody here, okay, let's say Deborah again. Click on that. And then click on backup orders. You don't have to click on backup orders actually. Oh, just orders. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and click here, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you can see that order. So you can see what anyone's ordered for like the last 10 years, if they've been around for 10 years. You can see what their monthly order is. Okay. Anybody else, everyone clear? Thumbs up if you're clear. Any other thumbs up? Hold your thumb up if you're clear. <laughs> okay, I see Tara Shea, I see Aaliyah. Shree and um, Robin, you guys clear? I'm not sure if you guys are hearing me. I'm saying lift your thumb. Oh, I couldn't see it, Shree, because it was like behind the thing. Okay, got it. Robin, I mean, Deborah, are you clear? Yes. Um... So I'm very visual. I like, if I ask thumbs up, that's how I'm counting. I'm looking until everyone's got, Heather's got her, her thumbs up. Okay, great. Okay, Brianna's got her thumbs up. Okay, thank you. That's the majority. All right, cool. So how do we look at the promo column? How, let's see how many points everyone's got in. So why don't you scroll over to promo? There we go. The UBT promo, there it is. Now you can click on that to order it from most to least. So that's the least to most. One more time. Now it's most to least. Now, Cherie's got 149 points in. Coco's got 99 points in and we're in the first week. So Coco, how, many, how are you gonna get 50 more points for this week? Have you turned in all 99? Let's see, where's Coco? Coco, did she hop off? I don't see her anymore. Okay, she's gone. But Coco's, Coco has a team now, so she, she so her, her, those points should be at least 199. They could be at least 199. They could be, she could already have um, 300 points if everyone was turning in their points by now. If everyone had turned in all their points by now on our team, she'd have at least 350 points already. You guys see that, how important it is that everyone's turning in their points. And then Shree, how many points would that give you? A lot more. 350 more. Yeah. 
or 249 more or 299 more. So um, 249 more. Okay. So everyone's points, no points left behind. So um, we've got uh, Olena and we've got um, Jamie, who's also on your team. So if your entire team turned in all their points and then we've got Tyne and then we've got Aaliyah. So now if all of you turned in all of your points collectively, that would be uh, like around 600 points. Plus if you did your, declare, your rank declaration, that's like 600 to 900 points each one of you that would actually get Sri to her, to executive and diamond. That's how big a deal it is. That's like, that's like, let's see if Ty, Jamie and Aaliyah and Elena and, um, and Deborah and Sri all did all of your points. That would be 7,000 points for Sri. You see how it starts to work? And then when you guys have your downline and they're doing their wide in your reach, you guys, this is like how fast things move just from the points alone that are the UBT promo points. So on, on Tara Shea's team, we've got Heather and we've got um, Kayan who's coming. And if there's any other brand partners, you guys have the option of having like almost 2000 points just between the two of you to move towards Tara Shea's ranking towards Diamond. So um, it's such a group effort, you know, we all work together, but it's not even really about the points for your upline. Who is it really for? Who's gonna benefit from going live? Is it really about the points? No, it's about it's about helping other people. I was gonna say the viewers, yeah. Anyone Lives. that's you know that's right. yeah. that's prayer, prayers of being answered, of being um drawn to, you know, whatever they're wherever we are and reaching people. Yeah. How are they gonna find you if you're not sharing? Wow, I'm on day two. This is how I'm feeling. Wow, I'm like I'm like anticipating getting my pack. Wow, look at this shake I'm making. Like, how are they gonna even know you exist if you aren't doing the actions that submit that cause those points to come in, right? How would they even know? Yeah. Just think of all the people like us. We're so grateful, right? That our lives changed from it. Imagine how many people would be so happy if they found out about this that their how life many, changed those of you who have family members and friends who are suffering who how many people here who here knows at least of at least one or two people who are struggling with their health okay um who here knows at least one person who's friends with them on social media that like might be struggling with any of the things that we know like energy weight pain inflammation it's almost everybody you know, the only thing is being able to somehow just be available when it is that they make the leap that they're like, all right, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of whatever their ailment is and, and being able to experience this transformation themselves and, and feel that relief and experience that and stick to it for our own self-care that we continue to multiply helping others. Helping Thank each other. Thank you. So how again i'm going to ask the question again because i was going going somewhere with that so how many of you have at least one person on social media who's struggling and you know this could help them and yet there's something awkward about reaching out to them but if you share how are they going to get interested how will they get to know what you have by our before and after stories your before and after stories or our live videos but i think the before and after stories are the, the biggest one right to, how do we uh, share them how people. do we show them how do we show them before and after stories they're on board and they're also like uh my husband and i took a picture of us you know and then we talked you know i 
let them know like on Facebook or maybe take a picture of me before and after or it doesn't even have to be before and after it could just be like a picture now of how I feel good and in shape and just from the uh, super greens when I came on board I just saw some woman with one picture of her holding a scarf on top of a mountain feeling fabulous and I love that picture and then I saw her story I was like what's that what's she doing I asked, I reached out. She said, I have a $50 gift code. I said, what, what I want a $50 gift code. I said, give that to me. <laughs> oh, that's right. The $50. That's how I got signed up. I said, I want that $50 gift card. <laughs> so how else? What are some other ways? Okay. I'm going to mute you, Sheree. And let's give some other people from your team a try or from, uh, from my, uh, anyone on the team, but like, what are some other ways to expose people on social media to what you have? And uh, Sheree, can you like unshare your screen so people can see each other? Please. And by the way, anyone can also like grab the cursor and like move the screen over so they can just see so that it makes the share screen small. I've been sharing every day like my story on how I'm healing on this protocol. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. I haven't seen it. Will you tag me whenever you post? In my group, yeah. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Always tag your side team, your up teams, tag, tag everybody. Okay. That, that way everyone will see your story and then they'll comment. You want people to comment in the first half hour. If you get people to comment in the first half hour that you post, it will actually make it stay up four hours longer. Wow. So that's why you want to send it and immediately tell your upline, oh my gosh, I just made a post, go like it. Okay. So if you tell everyone in the first half hour and someone comments on it, it's going to stay up for four hours longer. Okay. Okay. So how else can we expose people to what we have? What else? There's more ways. One of my favorite ways hasn't been mentioned yet. Um, tagging in the support groups and then um, like live um, the markets like vending. What's that? Live markets pending? I didn't understand that. V vending, like, you know, having a booth, you know, um, in, 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 in person. Um, so the first one was being able to tag people in stories in support groups, um, invite them, um, tailoring to their needs or someone else's. Um, yeah, reaching out to people and asking, you know, telling them, you know, asking them questions and then eventually getting them into the, the core four group, right? Where you can tag them on posts. But I'm like, what's going to get them to actually reach out to you though? What's going to get them to reach out to you? Um, the emotional thing that, that they're they're reaching you know that whatever they're they're there's this like they want clearer skin maybe you know and some of the emotional store you know attachment of necess experience seeing it, that it, it works for someone else that they feeling that it can work for them mm -hmm. so I guess for, I'm, I'm sharing that as an, as an example so seeing something emotional where are they going to see it how are they going to see it your story and your tagged posts or tagging them in, um, in a results in a group. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but what's going to get you to get them into the group. The whole point is how are you, how are you uh, first even getting their attention and In inviting them, inviting them? How, what would you say? Um, explain a uh, share what you're doing or what I'm doing, you know, with your cleanse. With start, your, a start a conversation start with a them. conversation. Hey, start from the very beginning, starting a conversation. That's what Inquiring I'm how they are doing. Ask no, them I'm... how they're doing. Hey, I just saw someone's green lights on. That means that they're online right now. You go, oh, so that person's green lights on right now. Let me just go say hi. Hey, what's up, Deborah? How are mm -hmm. you doing? Just starting a conversation, saying hello. Just beginning to have dialogue. You talk to somebody, you ask them about themselves long enough, pretty soon they'll say, how are you doing? You can tell them. Oh, I've been, I'm about to do this like crazy protocol. <laughs> I'm about to do this like awesome, like 90 day protocol. I'm like just getting started. I'm excited. So starting conversations. What's another way that no one has mentioned yet? How do you get people interested so that they reach out to you? So they go, what are you doing? We've already mentioned posting your before and after picture. We've mentioned um, putting your before and after stories in your live. Um, I think we've talked about posting other people's stories. 
but there's still something people haven't mentioned yet. Do, 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 do. It's just like so simple. It's right there that no one's saying it. <laughs> Interviews. Cherie was going to say it. I know, <laughs> interviews. Yeah. <laughs> that was I. I was attempting to let someone else go. <laughs> You're like, I'll let someone else go. I mm -hmm. Good. Interviews. Why are interviews so powerful? A lot of disclosure and um, um, points, and it helps engage people or you know, especially when they're live, you know, people are, you know, of interest that, and being able to, you know, yeah. Olena in the beginning. Uh, Olena's been going she's been going live inter doing interviews with um with Coco translating me and Shri into Japanese. She's been doing lives in Japanese and they have someone in Japan that they're shipping this to. Fabulous. You can ship this anywhere in the world. You guys know that? Mm. Oh, you know, I didn't know that. I thought it I thought they did ship to Japan. They don't, they don't ship to Japan. You can ship it to anywhere oh, in the world. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You can, it they can make their order. But... They can make, they can make their order, send it to you. And for a hundred dollars, you can ship it somewhere. Maybe $200, but guess what? That just makes it $20 a day instead of $12 a day. So what? $12, $20 a day for two meals a day that are going to like rescue you from your life. <laughs> People yeah, will get the true. value once you build it. Tomorrow, um, Kristen on Joe's team. Tomorrow, Kristen has me on a call with someone in Sweden who, or somebody who's in India, who's actually going to, she's going to Spain. And so she's shipping it to Spain. She's going to order from Germany and it'll ship to Spain. She's going to order from platinum. And I told her, I said, give it seven to 14 days to ship from Germany. Cause you never know just to be safe, you know? And then when she gets there, she's going to pick it up and then take it back to India with her. So, so we're always looking for ways. So if you want to ship to another country, I know Brianna's got someone in India too. Um, you have to just build a value so that they understand that this is going to cost, um, you know, $20, $25 a day for two meals and all of your supplements. That's still $10 for two meals and for $10 for a meal and, a, and all your supplements that are going to make you well twice a day. Is $10 still saving money if you're spending $10 twice a day on a meal with all of your supplements? Is that still saving you money? How many of you spend more than $10 on food? You go out, right? Me too. You spend more than $10 on food. Just if you go to community market here in town, you can spend no less than $15. Even if you're just trying to keep it small, you're going to spend 15 bucks. So for somebody who's only spending $10 for a meal, that's going to get them well, plus all their supplements twice a day, $20 a day to get it bought, sent to you, and then you ship it out and then they pay you. Still a freaking deal. They can still save some money. If they're in Australia, they're going to save money. <laughs> okay. So it's all about understanding the cost per meal and being able to convey that to people. All right. So we interview people. What does that do when you interview people? <laughs> What's great about interviewing people? Getting to know each other and being able to have. Getting to know um, each other. Uh, it's breaking up, hun. Um, yeah, you're breaking up, sweetie. The people. Who who else wants to go? It's it's breaking up too much. Friends back to and being able to um what's great about interviewing people is it takes the pressure off you. You don't have do you have to know anything about the products? Do you need to know anything? Anybody with me? Does anybody have to know anything about the products? You don't have to know anything. 
you don't necessarily have to know anything, but you're able to be able to connect with people who do. And so you also get to learn and your audience gets to learn. And then it's a reference material to send to people. And Ooh, you just hit it right on the spot. It's a reference period. Now you've got something recorded you can send to people. Sharing stories helps people feel the emotion so that they are like, oh my God, they're moved to tears. Now they want to buy it because they're moved. They make that decision from being moved. People relatability. Make, it's very relatable. When you interview someone, that's very relatable. We get very vulnerable in our interviews. What's also beautiful is someone who's never done the products before can still interview someone. When you've not done the products, your biggest, your biggest tool is to interview somebody. Helps build confidence and esteem and vulnerability and intimacy. Which is what yeah. we also all all human confidence. species desperately needs. Huh? What else all our human species definitely desperately needs is the vulnerability yeah. intimacy and connectivity and yeah. relatability and oh uh, relief and hearing being heard felt um listened to and you know just that someone cares um you know with your being able to ask people questions and it building a trust foundation it builds trust that vulnerability that transparency builds trust it makes your audience feel connected to you and trust you. Good. Okay. All right. Let's open it up for uh, questions. What would you guys, where are you guys stuck in your business? If at all. Oh, I got question or I got it. <laughs> all right. All right. Go, 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 go. Um, so it is doing everything of that other than, um, working on myself like the whole pono pono prayer and you know just the connectivity of the reflections of the mirrors of people as messengers and lessons but it's to me it's you know sharing the reference material or it's inviting them it's engaging with them of asking how they're doing what's going on it's it's a follow-through it's to where people need the help like there's a list of people we've talked to like somebody wanted to get their periods back somebody wanted to get rid of you know their eczema and their herpes virus and this stuff like that um but then not seeing their you know them follow through with it for their own sake you know some people you know i get that aspect of um you know the money up front or being too much or we break it down it's like okay that's affordable it's whatever that extra umph uh, of that inspiration or encouragement that the person just commits to it. And so that's kind of, I guess, where I am. Like, there's so many people on the list that's like on the edge. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just sitting back. So you're like, how do I get them over the edge? Right. That's the question, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks for asking the question. Point blank. Let's, let's, I'm going to answer that. <laughs> All right. So. Um, hold on a second. In order for me to see everybody, I'm going to spotlight and then I'm going to go into Cali. This is for the recording that I spotlight myself. Cause it's, it's emotional when, when it, you know that they could benefit from it and they want to benefit it from it, but then there's just some kind of like that. Yeah. Like you said, so go ahead. Thank you. So, so my upline who was making a hundred thousand dollars a month of period, her name was Brandy and she was a Royal crown before she decided to retire or whatever. She said, if they haven't ordered, it's because they don't have enough information yet. That's it. It means they haven't had seven or eight exposures, whatever. They haven't had enough exposures. Okay. Which is, one of, they the, which is one of the reasons why social media is so important because it helps the more they see you, the more they get pulled over that fence. Okay. And does that include too, if, if they've um, been sent a video, um, sending a reminder video for them, you know, this is on the element that you would like to target, um, you know, how I can support you. What, what is another, um, let's say they ghost you, like you've okay. sent these videos and they haven't responded, right? Okay. Have you looked at their, have you looked and seen if they've even looked at it? Have they even looked at it? So well, we wouldn't I, know if they looked at the video, but we would know if we looked at the Perium link. Well, you can see if you send anything in Messenger or in Instagram, you can see if they've looked at it. Right. You can, not you, can see seen, you can see if they've seen your message. It says seen, seen the message, okay. right? 
right their little picture their head and so you know they looked at the message because their little head appears on messenger or it says okay. on instagram right if it hasn't done that if they haven't looked or seen maybe they don't check their messages very much okay so what do you do i i know that I know, I know that i know that they're posting and they're looking at my posts keep posting comment on their comment on their picture go into their page and Comment on their pictures, make comments, talk about things that are unrelated to Purim. Or even say on one of their messages, say on their one of their pictures, oh, I sent you a message. Oh, I love this post. By the way, I sent you a message. I've been doing that for sure. Okay. And it's all about dripping. We call this dripping. <laughs> drip, 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 drip. We're farmers. So we put everything on a drip system, right? We're not hunters. We're farmers. We're not hunting people down. We're farming. Right? So when you're farming, you put everything on a drip system. Here's how I heard it once from my upline. You know when there's a song on the radio you've never heard before? Anybody ever heard mm -hmm. a song you like heard, heard on the radio and they're like, mm -hmm. I have no idea what this weird thing is. And you just turn the station, right? It's like, oh, I don't know what that is. Turn the station. The first time you turn the station, the second time you hear that song and you go, you pause for a second and you go, wait, wait, I heard this yesterday, didn't I? I think I heard the song before. Oh, well, anyway, turn the station. The third day you're driving to work, you hear the song and you go, it's that song again. I keep hearing this song. All right. I mean, listen to like, let me just listen to it once. It's starting to sound familiar. Like I'm gonna listen to it. Like, yeah, it's kind of familiar. So you listen to the whole song. You're like, all right, all right. It's not bad. It starts to grow on you. That song starts to grow on you. Like, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of catchy. The fifth day goes by. You're on day five and you're like, hear this song again. And you're like, you're like, oh my God, wait, what is this song about? Oh, this is a heartbreak. So, oh my God. It's a heartbreak. Oh, I totally relate. This heartbreak. Oh, I know. I know. Jeez. Right. Six day comes along. And now you're like, oh, that's got a catchy. I, I know the chorus. I know the chorus. You know, I am a woman in love and I do anything to get you into my heart. Okay, sorry. That's like Greece anyway, or whatever. That's the Bee Gees. That's the Bee Gees. Anyway, long story short, you're like singing the chorus. Heartbreak chorus. You're like, I'm singing the chorus. I love the song, right? Day seven, you, you hear that song again. You're like, I'm downloading this on Spotify. I love this song. I'm downloading on Spotify. How many times did you have to hear Cake by the Ocean before you finally downloaded on Spotify? Right? You got to expose people seven times. If you're not at a seven exposure, of course they're not going to buy. People rarely buy on the first exposure. We, if they do, it's called low-hanging fruit. There's a few low-hanging fruit people who will buy on the first exposure. They need to have seven exposures to buy. Luckily, y'all have some low-hanging fruit. Some people are ready to go right like that. You want to find those people, but you, but they're not going to see it unless they see your post. Now, when you post on, on social media, what? how many people actually see that post? Who knows? And in two minutes, I got to hop over to another call. A short fraction of at all. Anybody know exactly what percentage? Has anyone heard the number? When you post one thing on social media, what percentage of your audience sees it? It's like 20, right? Eight. Eight, wow. So if you post once and you go, no one likes me, well, only 8% of your audience doesn't like you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. It just means eight people, eight people saw it out of your hundred friends. And maybe some of them were busy driving and they looked at it really quick. And they didn't like it or didn't heart it, but you know, kind of like it was like listening to that song for the first time, you know. This is why we ask you to post every day. Because chances are all of your friends will only see one post if you post 10 times in a row. And if you to post 10 days in a row, chances are all of your friends will only see one of those posts. One will see the day one post, one will see the day three post, one will see the day five post, one will see the day 10 post. So next week you do it again. And if you're constantly posting, eventually everyone has seen your post, but it takes like a year for everyone to see. Yeah. 
It takes a lot of consistency and a lot of dripping. You're just dripping. You're dripping nutrients on the soil. It's not, going grow. it's not going to grow from one drop. You're like, mm -hmm. you give a seed a drop. You're like, why isn't it sprouting? Now, wasn't there an aspect of like early mornings, you know, from eight to 10 or seven to 10 and then seven at eight and in the mornings and the at night are better times to post. And then wasn't it to where you don't post more than once a day because it drowns out the post? Yeah. Don't post more than once a day or it would drown out the post. Like all of a sudden nobody sees the post you did early this morning because now you post it again and again and again, and now they're not seeing it. You get a good post. If I get a good post on Monday and I got 150 views I actually leave it for a while because I just want to like I want to like let that kind of get some life I want to let it keep going for a while because everyone's getting in, onto that post but then I'm going to post something really good after that that's also going to get attention now because now social media is like oh they love her post we're going to show them her next post so now a lot more people will see my next post it, how to be more encouraging because it can be discouraging exactly like when you do the posts and you're being able to keep up on it and you know who's seeing it or being able to share it or like you said earlier is making sure that you're tagging everybody so that they could reference back to your post and share it or like it and comment so that it boosts the momentum or exposure yeah you can tag friends you can tag people you want to have them see that post they're more likely to see it if you tag them but all those people who've been on the fence they got to see enough to get them off the fence. They're just not informed enough. Mm -hmm. And you may post seven days in a row and go, that was seven exposures. But no, you only <laughs> expose two people to two different posts. You expose seven people to seven different posts and only all seven of those people only saw one post. Thank you. You're Is welcome. there a difference between Facebook and Instagram that you prefer? I feel like I tend to, I have way more, I think I have more relationships with people on Facebook. I feel like I know more of the people who are interacting with me on Facebook than on, yeah. on Instagram. I think it's more period people who follow me, but I think on Facebook, I have like more of my own friends and I feel like I have more interaction. And so I actually think that I'm more effective on Facebook, to be honest. I post cross post to both, but um, Facebook's where actually most people who reach out to me, reach out to me on Facebook when they buy stuff. Interesting. Yeah, that's I mean, how I feel too. I like the way Facebook is, you know, how you interact with different people. And yeah, it's more interactive. But I personally have more, I have more followers on Facebook. I've been doing Facebook for a lot longer. So I have like, you know, I think 5,000 friends now and 7,000 followers. And I don't know if, you know, I think most of those followers are probably Purian people, but because, you know, early on I was just adding Purian friends. And now I know not to add people who are Purian and Purian as my friends unless they're on my team. Because I don't want to like prospect to people who are already prospected who are already on the team. Like I want those not someone I'm looking for. So I try to friend people outside of Perium. All right. So how are you guys feeling? It's 602. And I think Kristen and I are waiting for someone to come join us. Yeah. Are we going? Are we um Kristen, are you oh, is that happening with Stephanie? Um, it's with Stephanie Dawn. My customer um canceled at the last minute. She can't. That's okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, when Stephanie's ready, she can hop on here and we'll do the Zoom. Here. Oh, Stephanie put a Zoom in our text. Oh, just, okay. Or do you want me to tell her to hop on here? Yeah, tell her we're already on the Zoom. Isn't okay. there a uh, Perium right now at six o'clock though? It just got canceled. Oh, okay. Thank you. Wait, I wait, the Perium, the Perium, the Perium the Wednesday call got canceled? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I got a text. Perfect. All right then. So we can go on to Stephanie's Zoom if you guys want to continue talking. Does anybody want to continue chatting on this? Do you want to continue talking with your team? Or do you guys all feel done? Um, Stephanie's one, she's one with the million mom movement, right? And being able to reach out to, to moms and, and stuff. That'd be great to follow up. Well, she and Kristen and I have a connect call in that we are doing some training with Kristen. We're doing... Stephanie is bringing Kristen to me on a training call. This is what's mm -hmm. happening. <laughs> so this is what everyone wants. I want all of you guys to be doing this with your downline. If you want your downline to learn something, bring them to me. And then we do a training call and that's how you learn as well. So that's what's happening. So that said, if we're complete, go ahead and hop off. Otherwise I can leave this room to you guys to hang out more if you want. Well, Shree just disappeared. So I guess she's done. Okay. Thank you. 
Thanks, you guys. Lots of love. Have a great evening. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Good to see you, Deborah. Bye, Elena. Arigato. I'm. Am I bringing Stephanie here? Yeah. Tell her to okay. come. Bye, Leah. Yeah, I'm curious about the pregnancy. Uh, yeah, that's not my niche, but I've, you know, like having someone who's closely pregnant and, you know, harsh on money or, you know, in a, in a certain culture of family and being able to present that in a way that will, you know, is going to be support, you know, knowing she's got support as oh, you your know, friend Jasmine. Mom. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. did, that's you why I think to, did you add her to the sacred birth group? Um, I think think so i'll double that's check stephanie, that's sure. stephanie's group so. okay pretty sure i did okay cool right on all right ladies well tara shane Aliyah, feel free to hop off we're gonna um go into training now as soon as stephanie hops on Okay, so that's going to be recorded and we can listen or? No, no this okay. is a connect call. This is a connect call. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, but we will, we will, we do need to get Stephanie on to our Zoom to train more. So we will do that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Have a good one. Love you. Bye. Love you. I'll talk to you later, Tershay. Okay. Come on, come on. Hi. <laughs> I'm at How the end. Day. Yeah, I'm like Rest. fully spent. <laughs> oh. My back is just begging for me to lie down. So that's Rest. how I, you take me as I am, and I know that you will. So right. I love absolutely <laughs> location freedom, baby. Yeah, one hundred percent. So oh, yeah. okay. beautiful. Well, I'm really, really super jazzed. Um, that this is happening, you know, I really feel as Rachel does that Kristen, you have just been spreading your wings and flying and, <clears throat> and, you know, I've stepped out somewhat as you're well aware. And Rachel's like, I need to meet with her <laughs> because yeah. she sees you, we see you. And, um, and, you know, when we see folks that are um, consistently doing the thing, they're showing up regularly, you're doing in-person events, and your heart and soul is in what you're doing. It's really inspiring to us. So I'm really um, excited for Rachel's input into what you're already doing. Mm -hmm. And as ever here, I'm here to learn from you, Queen Rachel, <laughs> who I <laughs> love and adore, my Purium mama. And um, just thank you for, for, you know, you've had a long day too, I'm well aware. So um, thank you for being here and diving deeply with my team. Today of all days, it's been a team radiance kind of day for Rachel. Yeah, it's yeah. been fun. Thank you, Steph. I'm so glad that you're taking care of yourself and just laying down and just being in receiving mode. You deserve yeah. that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that you've been such a great support for Kristen. And like, she's been cheering you on, Kristen, from behind the scenes. Stephanie is like, mm -hmm. Kristen, 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 attention to Kristen, like all eyes on Kristen. Like we need to watch this girl. Like this woman is rising. Aww, she's like, thank you. Champion. She loves you. She's such an amazing leader. And I know that she's been fostering you well. And so, you know, she's still here to support you. And she's, you know, just like radiant in her, in her way. Um, even with like being behind the scenes, I totally feel you, Stephanie. And I love that. Thank mm -hmm. you for showing up and just like with your energy, you know, your light, really, it's your light that shows up. So you don't even have, you can just relax and you're like, like Dolores Cannon says in her book, you know, like not her, but like some of the pe people that she interviews who've had life on other planets. It's like sometimes that person's being just by being, they're actually healing the world just by being, you know, and you're one of those people stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your presence is like so healing for me too. You know, like even just like, um, just knowing that you're around in my life, you really mm -hmm. like it's something that keeps me going and my team and keeps me like leading. 
Yeah, that's how I feel about both of you guys, for sure. Oh, yeah. thank you, Kristen. Mm-hmm. Yay. Mm-hmm. You've been doing so much and you've been showing up and like staying in communication and letting us know what you're up to and like just being active. And like, I see that and I just want to, you know, I want to foster that and cultivate it and like help you wherever I can and figure out what you need, you know, to really help you, you grow. Because I think it's time for you to pop diamond. I think so too. <laughs> I agree. (laughs) Yeah. I'm excited. I'm just every day. I just wake up with so much. Like I just like the best time is I get up at five, like around five o'clock, my husband leaves and and I'm up and I'm just like thinking, who can I talk to? Who do I got to get back to? You know, I'm just like going. And then I have to like, I'm like, I have have to be like, okay, stop and meditate first. Cause I have to meditate, you know, first Mm -hmm. I have to get my head right. And but then after that, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, who do I got to talk to? And, Very yeah. cool. Good. I'm excited. Well, I'm kind of curious about your event. I'd love to hear yeah. more about your event and also about your sister and your mom. So um, mm-hmm. did your event just happen or is it about to happen? It's about to happen. It's happening Saturday. Okay, good. So um, I have been doing events. Um, I started last year um, doing events and I've started doing just yoga in the park. And then uh-huh. I would set up Purium there as well. Um, and then for the winter time, I needed a place for inside. So I found Anne's Haven. It's in Chicago, and it's very it's a all centered around women, and it's it's a beautiful space. Like, not I'm not talking about aesthetically. Yes, it is beautiful, but the whole energy behind it. It's this group of women. And we all have, like, I teach yoga. There's other yoga instructors that teach. There's Reiki practitioners. There's, um, you name it, um, wow. sound bowl, meditation, like all kinds of stuff that people massage, all kinds of stuff. So um, we're trying to get a grant from the city for, I guess, they want to, like, be able to pay us. And so they're trying to, like, bring money in so that I don't... I, I'm, I'm teaching yoga for free, you know, and especially with Purium, I can't charge for yoga and then be like, Hey, check out Purium. So I, I'm like, okay, I can't charge. So there, but just for the place, they're trying to get money. They're trying to get a grant from the city. So we're doing this community reach out and all of us practitioners have a weekend. This Saturday is mine. And so, um, and these women, I have like, oh my gosh, it's like 10 women, eight to 10 women that have signed up for this six week course and we all have a day. And so, yeah, so Saturday I'm going to have like eight to 10 women, strangers I've never met before, wow. <laughs> which is a brand new thing for me. Um, cool. I've, I've been teaching to like my friends and my coworkers, you know, and I just started doing Eventbrite. And I did that last time and I got two total strangers that came and we sat and did yoga. And then we sat and talked about Purium and I have, that was a good conversation. Nothing's come of it, but it was a really good conversation. And I reached out to that. I reach out to them. I invite them every time I have a, an event now because I have their email. Um, so, so can I I get some clarity? So you have, um, so this is like the entire yoga studio is all taking turns teaching in days. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And everyone's teaching for free. Yes. So all everyone's it's just, it's like a free six week thing to, to create publicity for the yoga mm-hmm. studio. Correct. Okay. And you're all doing a day long. It's um from ten thirty to twelve thirty. Okay, so everyone's doing like a two hour slot. It could kind of like yep. get the people in to see the space and promote it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. All right. Thanks for explaining. Mm-hmm. And uh, last time you had eight people come. And start a lot of good conversations. Um, I had two people come last time from my event break. And um, this last, this just last one, last weekend, um, I just had my mother-in-law came and my coworker. And that was it. My event break people didn't show. I had three people event break, but they didn't show. Okay. So. Yeah, but this was, or- yeah, exactly. So this was organized by... The, the studio so all of a sudden I have all these people and I'm like oh my goodness okay and so um is your class an hour and a half long no it's uh well no it's I'm gonna do like an hour of yoga I'm thinking and then 
an Imperium. So right. the we did kind of like this focus, I think, was on women that are um, normally wouldn't be able to afford to to take care of you know like you go into a yoga class and so it's kind of um low income focused toward low income right so i was trying to figure out how the heck am i gonna who created that focus the studio yeah mm -hmm. so it's interesting the studio is trying to bring attention and trying to get popular by offering free classes but then they're 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 catering to people yeah. who can't afford yoga classes so yeah i know so this is not a yoga studio this is a, um, the owner has this house in Chicago and she dedicated it to her mom. And it's been just an event space where right. anyone can just go and have a birthday party or women can go and take a nap <laughs> if they want to. If they have their kids at the babysitter, they can just go there and take a nap. They can, you can bring your friends and hang out. And it's just a, a space for women. So, <clears throat> Yeah. But okay. yeah, and people do charge. Like I started out, I did charge at first and other practitioners do charge. Um, but I feel like with Purium, it's not, it doesn't make sense. So it doesn't make sense to charge money if you're going to also do offer healthy happy hours. Are you saying? Yeah, I don't think so. Right. Well, I think so. No, I would definitely you do. Absolutely. Really? Kashi really? Ananda, yeah, Kashi Ananda, yeah. who's the first person who made five, she was a yoga, she owned a yoga studio. She made $5,000 her first two months with, with, with Purium. And she just got all of her students to come learn about Purium constantly. And they were all doing the cleanse together and coming to her classes. So mm -hmm. the classes were part of keep them, their accountability. It's like, come to class and you're going to like have that accountability with all these other students. But like, mm -hmm. she usually has an hour and a half yoga. And then she says, Hey, after class today, I'm going to have a special guest and we're going to do regenerative health talk. And we're going to talk about this protocol that helped me change, um, relieve my menopause. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> right? so that way they, that way they pay for their yoga class. They come, they do a full yoga class that was earned. Right. So therefore mm -hmm. why not be paid? And then afterwards they get to stay and have this additional thing where they get to learn about something really good for them. Okay. All right. I love that. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Yeah. And it's all about a presentation, you know, it's all about like how it's presented and it's how you tie it together. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. like, okay. Hey, I'm going to have a special, um, I'm going to have a special um, presentation after class today, even more reason to come and pay for class. There's right. some value. It's going to be, you're going to get more value for your money. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. As long as you give them a full class, they should pay for that full class. Right. Okay. So it's all perspective. Got it. Yeah. All mindset. Right. I know. <laughs> and I also feel like just, I don't know, I kind of just have an issue with charging for yoga because I feel like at least I, I, the spirituality, all that should be free. I feel like, you know, so I, I do have a little tug there. She's saying no. <laughs> come on out. Come on, Stephanie. Go ahead and come on. <laughs> I'm so glad that we're talking about this. Um, and I totally feel your heart and why you feel that. Um, so there's a couple reasons why I'm a hard no for this is because number one, your time has value. Your 200 hour yoga training had value and you paid for it. Okay. So you are a yoga teacher. So that has value. Um, I'm 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 totally down for a love donation. Like if you just want to, mm -hmm. you know, ask for a love donation. But Rachel's right. Like we need to be charging for your yoga and doing Purium on top of it. You don't have anything to feel badly about at all. Not at okay. all. Um, okay. It's an elevation of how you're teaching yoga and how you relate to the body. It's an extension, really, of of yoga. Really, I mean, it's the yoga of nutrition. I mean, you could talk about mm -hmm. it like that, right? It's just, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, no. I mean, I've been dealing with this now for decades because when I became a spiritual practitioner down in California, it was very common for us to give away our hour long counseling such spiritual counseling sessions for free. And I was like, and then I had I took on a mentor who charged one hundred percent, 
for everything. And, you know, here, here I am today still going strong as a coach and a counselor, spiritual counselor, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I want you to make money. You need to make money. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yes, I do. Back to you, Rachel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I agree with everything Stephanie said. We are, you know, you are like, here. we're in a day and age where we, we don't barter anymore. We're not trading. We can do some trading, but we're not, you know, we're not in a bartering system anymore. Our economy is like, we pay the rent and we want to pay the rent doing something we love rather than having to work at like a job that we hate. Right. So that's really the <laughs> point. Like, earn earn money doing something you love so you can let go of the thing you're not most passionate about definitely right okay and thank you pay. yeah and, it, and then if there's people who have hardships you can say secretly you know what i'll just gift you the class come on in if there's right people, you can just like gift them or scholarship them in you know mm -hmm. they have money when to be gone for lack of funds i want everyone to take this class so please keep exactly going. exactly right love that okay mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can tell them, you know, I used to do my yoga classes for free, but some people want to pay. So I let people mm -hmm. pay and some people don't. And you can be one of those people who don't, you know? Yeah, I love that Everyone. too. Just throw an option. Right, right, right. But I hear that. Yeah. Okay. If I could just interject one more thing. It's like when, when money is, is um, given for a service, the recipient of the service tends to value what they've received more so than if it is for free. That's yeah. been my experience. Right. I just realized I'm recording this, you guys. I'm going to click and stop the recording. It was an accident. <laughs>